Good morning, good morning, good morning, VIP peeps. How are you? It's Thursday. I, I love Thursdays. Sharon, you say you love every day of the week. <laughs> well, I like Thursday because it's, you know, it, to me, it's like the jumping off point for the weekend. So now you have to think about what am I going to do on the weekend? What special things can I plan for my family, for myself, for me and the hubby? What can be this weekend's goals? So Thursday makes you think about that. Plus, Thursday night is all about taking care of me. <laughs> I have this whole routine. I do my mask. I do a, a, a soak for my feet, my legs. And I, I take a good hour, two hours sometimes to just do me. I have to admit that has not always been the case. I have not always had three couple of hours on Thursdays just for me. But I tell you, it is wonderful. And if you can carve out some time just for you, I would really advise you to do that. I mean, it, it just, you're worth it for one. You're absolutely worth it. And two, it just, Getting in a little routine for just taking care of you, you know, it just really sets the tone and, and so forth. So I I come on um, on Thursdays and I um, have on my green face <laughs> with my mask. I love our um, dead it's dead minerals sea mask and I just love it. It, it softens and it pulls out toxins and so forth. Oh, getting all these, my phone is connected to my computer, so I get messages all, <laughs> all on my, on my, from my phone to my computer. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know. But anyway, so today is about lips. As you see, you rarely see this chick without lipstick on. Yeah, rarely. Not even. My husband hardly ever sees that. But I wanted to show you the, the, the difference of different effects you can get with using lip liner. I'm totally amazed at how many women do not line their lips and how that limits your lipstick. I mean, you can take one lipstick, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one lipstick and I'm going to show you with th three different liners the total difference in how the lipstick looks. Okay, so the color that I've chosen is, um, I think it's sort of a universal color it's that, it's, that everybody can kind of um, use. Most skin tones, I think, can comfortably use this color. And it's from the matte line, full coverage matte. It's one of the colors that we tried on in, um, was it March when they first came out? Um, and it is called, color is called Seduction. So it is a nice little, little pink. Not really real bold, but that's okay. Okay. So generally, I like to line with our reds and berries. But I'm going to first start with our nude and browns. Okay. I'm going to give it a swing on the sharpener because as I tell you, never use a pencil on your eyes or your lips that is uh, not sharpened. And also, I tell you guys, I always treat my lips before I put anything on them. So I like to use products that can do double duty. And I thought about this, the things that go on your eyes, eventually the same sort of issues that you deal with on your eyes are gonna be happening around your mouth. So I 
for years and started using a lip uh, eye treatment on my lips. And it's just, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit like the size of a mustard seed. It's, it keeps calling, huh? <laughs> she'll come. She's going to have an appointment, so she'll, she'll be. So I put it on my lips. I put it around my lips. So, so the nudes and berries. I'm going to go ahead and line. I'm going to move this lipstick so that I can set my mirror right here. You up and fell down. This poor mirror, I have, I love it. It has a seven magnifying on it, so I love it. <laughs> but um, okay, so I of course. I always do start with the cupid's bow and I do an X. X marks the cupid bow. Okay, so I'm Xing it out. Xing, Xing, Xing. So you just start at the very top of your, your cupid bow and just go to the side and the same thing on the other side. So then you take it down in little short strokes all the way down. And the same thing on the other side. I get in the corner and just go down to this little short strokes all the way around. So I don't, on, on, a, on a general day, I don't line the whole entire lip. Also, you can't. And that totally, again, will, will amplify the use of your lipstick amplifies okay so i'm going to get a pencil a, a brush a lip brush because guess what a lip brush does so much in terms of getting your lipstick right in there and and, and so on and so forth just gets it in there perfectly 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 so I'm going to take the lipstick and I'm going to get a little bit on my brush. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same X that I did with the pencil. X in, X in. And then I'm going to just roll it out on both sides. top and bottom, okay? So you see, this is a pretty pretty um, neutral color on this pink. Based on the fact that I used a neutral, put it behind me, excuse me, a neutral pencil, okay? I used a neutral pencil, so you can basically see how that together came up with this, neutral, it's kind of neutral pink, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn my phone on, you know that my my phone had gone off. Or maybe I'll just do it real quick on the, on the computer. I can do that really quick on the computer, the camera, bring up the camera. No, it won't because it's using it, the camera. It's going to tell me it's using the camera. <laughs> okay, so never mind that. We won't do that. So, um, anyway, so we're going to just move on, and I'll take the picture later. Oh, I popped up. Okay. So I'm going to take the picture of this one so that we have a record of what it, how this looks. Or maybe not. Okay. So this is the pink with a neutral nudes and berries. Okay. So now I'm going to take off this lipstick and I'm going to try a, a different liner and show you how different 
that can be. Now, and then there's other options you can do even with, with this. Once you have on your lipstick, by putting it on with the brush, you get a good coverage. You get in all the little creases. You get it right where you want it. You can line over it to make that even thicker. Let me just do that really quick for you. A little lining on top of it. I usually don't like to do that because of the fact that with the mats, with the mats, they um, it, they stay, you know, pretty well. But if you put the liner on top, then it, it, it kind of defeats that purpose. So here, here it is, and I'm going to go ahead and put some more. Makeup remover on the on the on the towel. I think we didn't. Well, maybe just didn't put enough. But anyway, so I'm going to remove that. I don't like to use the little cottony swab things because it gets a little cottony feather things there on your lips. Okay. So back to a nude lip, a uh, Sharon lip, this way it is. I'm not going to go ahead and put the treatment on again because that's not really necessary. But we're going to move to lip pencil soleil. No, I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to go to a... I'm going to go to a fire red. Okay, this is one of our automatic, automatic pencils. Fire red. Okay, so I'm going to line out. I'm going to do the X marks the spot as I do with my cupid bowl. Line. I usually line, you know, a little bit heavier on the inside of my eye, um, uh, eye inside of my lip right here in the corner. Oh. Look at that off. Get that on this white shirt, and uh, it's a little bit heavier there. And of course, you have the the X for the cupid's bow. So here we are. So now we're going to take the same lip color. Here it is. Ah, the same seduction with the same brush. I did wipe it off to get make sure I didn't have any of the pencil from the lips the nudes and browns so that you can get a clear view of what it is. So I'm going to start at the X with the cupid's bow, and then I'm going to take it around. Now, again, I'm lining outside of my, I mean, the outer part of the, well, the edge of my lips because you can, uh, to make your lips look bigger, of course, you'd line out to make them look thinner, you'd line in. I'm lining at the actual true line of my lips. Okay, and it's so amazing using a brush. You can get it all in there, just perfectly. A little bit on the teeth to share there. So, you see how that is almost a totally different pink now because of the liner. Just simply changing the liner. And it made a big difference in what you're seeing. Okay? So, again, that is with the automatic liner. It is the fire red. And here is what we have. Okay, 
lips, and the lipstick is still seduction. Now, since I brought the phone in here that I didn't charge and left my other phone in the other room, and someone's trying to get a hold of me <laughs> desperately, um, I'll have to I'll take pictures and stick them back up for you later. So we're gonna remove this again. And then I'm going to line with the one that I like to line with the most on pretty much all colors. Well, no, I think actually I'll show you a darker, a darker brown first before we move on. A little darker brown. This is Sienna. Yes, Sienna. This is um, automatic pencil also. Automatic pencil, Sienna. A little bit darker. And um, going on here. Doing my X, lining it all the way around on the actual lip. Not outside, not inside, because I I really of any part of my body, I like the lips. I like my lips. I cannot complain about my lips. They're the perfect. Perfect size for me. <laughs> they just fit me perfectly. So we're going to get the pencil again and we're going to go again. We'll see here with our seduction. That whole matte line is, is um, the colors are, are interestingly love. Inspired, seduction, crush, flirt, love affair, lust. Um, somebody was uh, really feeling some love and they named that, that line. So here I've got it put on my pencil, I mean on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and X in and the cupid bow and then take it on all around. And now, again, I was saying that you can actually change even more so by adding a lip gloss on top, a, a clear or like um, a little red or a little gold. Oh, my gosh. On red, sticking a little bit of gold right here and right there. Oh, my goodness, does that pop. That really pops. So here we go. Now you see the, how much deeper that color is now? And it's just merely taking the very same lipstick and giving it a different liner. Mm. So see how much deeper it is? Okay. We're going to move on to the final liner, which is the one, as I said, that I use the most. And it, it's um, for reds and berries. And you can even use like a coffee, a cocoa, and you would get an even different effect. Actually, why don't I do that? I'm going to give you the the bronze really quick, so I'm gonna have it over here. I'm gonna go bronze. I'm gonna let you see how that how that looks. Oh, I have the bronze. Oh, it's ebony brown. I don't want to go that dark. Oh, but I probably have the bronze in here. I probably have it. I 
have ladies who actually will line out with like a, a really dark, 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 dark um, eyebrow pencil. And, and, and yeah, it looks good on them. That's a little deep for me, but how do you think the bones be? Could have sworn I had it. I do have it. It's just where is it? And since it's not showing its little fell, oh, here it is. I was just getting ready to give up. <laughs> just getting ready to give up. I'm going to give her a little swirl on the sharpener because, again, we don't want to tug. We do not want to pull on our skin. So this is a, a bronze. Okay. We're going to XL. And we're going to take it around. And I, this, this actually is a eye pencil. So your lip pencils and your eye pencils can be interchangeable. Yeah. You can be interchangeable. As I said, I have people who put the, the eyebrow pencils on their lips, and that's, and they love it with either, you know, deep chocolatey colors, cocoa colors, or even reds or burgundies, okay? So we're going to get the pencil, I mean the brush. We're going to go back to our same lipstick. Seduction. We're going to load up our brush. Load up our brush, and then we're going to X out the cupid spell. Take it around and see the the this bar darker ones making it a little more nude. Okay, see a little more nude. And, and you know, by using the brush, you give your lipstick sort of a more of a kind of a fluffier look. And this looks like whipped cream icing or something. It looks very. Okay, so you see, it darkened it a little because of a bronze. Now, now we're getting to my favorite, okay? Now we're getting to the one that I use pretty much every day, every day. You might need to taking this off. It kind of looks like I'm scrubbing it hard, but I am not. I am not. It's dry. Okay. So here we go. Here we go with the reds and berries. And as I said, that's my favorite. Reds and berries. Reds and berries. It's pretty sharp, but I'm going to twist it a little bit. Just a little bit because, you know, you don't need to do any tugging on your skin. No, no, no. Not good. Not good. Bit of the okay. taking it around, and as I said, I like to do on the inside corner a little bit heavier. And this, because of this color, is going to give me. The ombre effect that I just love. I'm just I'm digging that look these days. 
the ombre effect. So I'm going to load up my brush again for the last one. And I'm going to X out and the an angle on the cupid's bow. That the purpose of that is just to make sure that I can keep that that point. I, I like to make it very well defined. And this is not going to give me like a huge, 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 huge ombre look, but it's definitely going to deepen the color and make it more bold. Uh-huh, make it more bold. See there, quite a bit of difference than what we started with, with a very light nudes and browns, and then we went to a fiery red, and then we went to the bronze, and then now the reds and berries. So this is, is you can see, much difference. And this was just using one, one color, one color. So you can see how using pencils to line, lining your lips, really just expands everybody's calling just expands the the it maximizes your lip color as I as I said it maximizes your lip color so you can have one lipstick with let's say three lip pencils and do all kinds of magical things magical things now I'm even going to show you if we put what kind of lip gloss might go over here. Oh, this might be good. Okay, so this is a um, it never ending nude, and this is a eternal bronze, eternal bronze and a never ending, I'm gonna put it on my hand so you can see how it looks because then this is very deceiving in the bottle, very deceiving. See, it's very light, very, very light. And this is never ending nude, never ending nude. And as you see, it's much deeper. So, I'm going to put a little bit of the bronze on one side. See, and it, you see what I mean about that just whipped. I'm going to wipe off the applicator. I don't want to come back and it's very, very cautious of that. So you see how it gives it that like whipped, <laughs> okay, this whipped cream look, <laughs> icing look, and this is the never ending nude. I'm putting it on the opposite side. And you can see how, wow, changes. Changes. Okay, so I've got people calling me I'm going to go and see what's going up. <laughs> I'll be posting the pictures of the finished looks. Have a great day. I value you. And I value your time. Awesome Thursday. Bye-bye.